Hello dear friends and dear students assalamu alaikum and welcome back uh, friends uh, we were discussing about the structure of ribosome and this was just the introduction of ribosome now as i had told you that we will in the next lecture uh, mention all these parts of the ribosomes right so let's learn about the parts of ribosome right so i have labeled them as part number 1 this is 2 3 4 5 and 6 7 8 9 right okay so the first part here right the most important thing that we should know that this black unit is the large unit right let me name it here look this is our large sub unit right and this blue unit is our small sub unit done first of all and the most important thing we should know that ribosome is made up of two units the small unit and the large unit done the small unit will be fixed into the large sub unit that's so simple if you want to know this for example this is the large sub unit and this is the small sub unit right so they will make close contact with each other and i will tell you later what is the thing that holds them both of them together here so this is the large sub unit it's very simple and this is the small sub unit and they are here and they have a little space here in between these two units for the protein synthesis we will see that later right so let's name all these parts the first part here this part is called the base of the uh, ribosome right so let me name it here this is the base of ribo so done then here is the second part and you can see here the this this is the large sub unit and posterior to the small sub unit the large sub unit has made a protuberance like this right if you want to know it here we'll draw a diagram like this right so it's quite like this this is the protuberance right that has gone that has gone posterior to this small sub unit so the small sub unit is present here and this protuberance has came like this look so this is called the central protuberance protuberance right so let me name it here this is the second part and this second part is called the central protuberance protuberance all right this was the second part now the third part that we should know is here right in the small sub unit and this third part is called the body of ribosome right so the base is located in the large sub unit the central protuberance is the part of the large sub unit the body of the ribosome is the part of the small sub unit right and the fourth part that we should know is you can see here the small sub unit has gone a little bit inside and it has made a little bit invagination right so we say this is called the cleft of the ribosome so this fourth part is the cleft done this is the fourth part and this tunnel type area which is in the large sub unit right as you can see let me show you here this for example my hands my both hands are the large sub units large sub unit inside the large sub unit you can see there is a tunnel area right you can see here so through this tunnel the proteins which are synthesized here those proteins those amino acids will leave the ribosome right so this part this tube like structure is called the tunnel of the ribosome so let's name it here this is called the tunnel done this was the sixth part now uh, so, so, i'm sorry fifth part now what is the sixth part of the ribosome the sixth one here you can see here this part and this part of the small sub unit right this these two parts are called the lobes of the ribosome so this is the sixth and this is called the lobes of ribo 
so done so we know that there is the base there is the central protuberance there is the body there is the cleft right and then there is the tunnel of the ribosome and the six uh, this was the sixth part the seventh part you can see here the large subunit has gone a little up like this right so these two parts are called the crests of the ribosome so this seventh part is called the crests or you can say arms right so these are the two arms which hold the small subunit you can see here they have holded the small subunit so these are called the crest or arms of the ribosome done then this is the egg part and this area of the ribosome is called the head of ribosome so these are some important points important structures of ribosome the base the tunnel the cleft the loops the body the head the central protuberance and the crest and then we should not forget the very important area and you can see here this area has gone a little bit downward in the small subunit right this area is called the dent right so let me name it also this is called the dent of ribosome so dear friends these were some important uh, uh, structures important points important landmarks of the ribosome right so the first important thing let's recap first the previous lecture was there we have discussed a little bit uh, about the introduction of ribosome so this was the, this is the second video about ribosome there are two subunits the large subunit and the small subunit and i have discussed about those units in the previous lecture and within these two units the small unit and large subunit there are some important markings which we should know that there is the base there is the tunnel right there is the cleft loops head body crests of the large subunit the central protuberance of the large subunit and the dent of the small subunit right so this was important um, markings of the ribosome and in the next lecture inshallah dear friends we will discuss about the chemical composition of the ribosome so one thing more uh, let me show you here a very important factor which is responsible to bring these two units close to each other remember this uh, is very important friends look carefully if here we have our for example i'm drawing a very simple diagram here this is our large subunit and here we have our small sub unit a very simple ribosome like me right so look carefully what is the thing that hold these two units together what is the important thing that bring these two units together so that is a very important ion which is called the magnesium ion magnesium plus two ion right so this ion is responsible to hold these two small large subunit and small subunit bring close to each other so there may be magnesium ions right there may be magnesium ions so these magnesium ions are very important as you know that these are positive charges and you know well that inside the ribosomes we have rna right and we have proteins so these proteins contain negative charges so here the negative charges and here the negative charges there is the formation of bond between these plus charges and these negative charges so this magnesium ion is very important to hold the two units together right so if someone asked who is responsible to hold these small subunit and large subunit bring close to each other and hold them together so there is the magnesium ion which is very important right this was about the structure of ribosome in the next lecture we will see this about the chemical composition of ribosome what is ribosome actually made up of see you in the next lecture